What's up, my peoples? I am Gandhi, and today on Gandhi Thoughts number 35, I have brought on Mick Wynn, and I've had a hellacious morning consisting of multiple, multiple phone calls, one of them consisting of you. So thank you for <laughs> ruining my beauty sleep, Mick Wynn. I'm digging the chin strap, dude. How are you? I'm digging the chin strap. I'm good. It's, it's okay. I, I don't think it's even because I've never cut one of these before. It's a new look. I like spicing it up. I it can't have a beer up. because I have a job interview coming up. So I was like, you know what? It's make it look good. I'm <laughs> I'm getting rid of it. It's it's not like the ghost of Yami who just has like the neck beard, right? And he tries yeah. to pass it off as a chin yeah. strap. No, it's, it's not a chin strap <laughs> at all. Uh, but so let's talk about uh, the first thing. I got two things that I want to talk about today. The first thing I want to talk about is something that I noticed last night. Uh, and, and that was at, during a 2v2 tournament. Now, uh, the guys at Battlefield, what is it, Battlefield Knox? Yeah, that's the name of the place. Bad Battlefield Knoxville. Yeah. Uh, so the place that's holding a lot of Halo 4 events decided to host a 2v2. Uh, my first worry uh, is about the place is that, you know, the publicity or the way they marketed it, no one had any idea. It was really all through the Suds Twitter is kind of like how everyone found out about it. And I, I did you even watch it last night? You, were, I mean, you were out, but did you know about it? No, <laughs> yeah, like, I passed out, but I, I wouldn't have watched it either way. But I had no idea. But yeah, I mean that that's that's kind of worrisome to me, just because, you know, your your whole job is to make sure that a lot of people are there to watch it to support you as a as like your center. Yeah. You know, how many times have you seen land centers just go out? <laughs> I've seen four go out of Michigan. So. I've seen I've seen at least six. <laughs> and and you know we can both count up the the one we just came from chaos theory, uh, yeah. because that went out. So oh, it did. Yeah. Uh, well, at least the owners had to change their hands. I believe so. And unless that whole thing was all like a sham, it was a sham. That's what I heard. Oh, the news, news to me, me man. To a sham. <laughs> you donated money to a sham. Oh, that's that's complete news to me. But so, <laughs> um, the, the first thing I'm worried about was the marketing. But regardless, you know. Uh, it gets down to the finals, and the Suds are up 2-0. And I got to tune in just because I'm expecting Suds to kind of roll through them. And they lose two games, right? And so now we now we got ourselves a series. And, you know, when a best of three, it goes from a best of three to a best of seven for the continuation series. And I realized something that, I, that I've always done a little bit, but I've never, I've never really given it all the effort I could, is that, you know, I tweeted. I'm, I'm not saying it was all because of me, whatever. I, and I understand that, but... Um, I tweeted a link saying everyone go there, right? And so more people came, and then other people started tweeting it because of what it was. It's competitive Halo at the end of the day, right? Yeah. And everyone loves competitive Halo. And what I realized was is if we, as a community, really just, like, stopped being such pretentious cunts about our own streams and, you know, like, this and that, dude, Halo would be in a much better place. I mean, there was 600, I think there was like 580 people watching at 1 o'clock in the morning, a sudden, a, non... a sudden playing 2 v <laughs> playing And, and it was a that... non-advertised tourney until someone got word of it. Non-advertised, and they're playing two people no one's ever even heard of. Yeah, well, I've heard of Capital, actually, but... Okay, um, well... But the majority, I agree. Ma majority <laughs> of people I've never heard of. Have you ever heard of Tyranny? No. See? There you go. <laughs> so... We we found it wasn't it wasn't like it was Mick Wynn and Ninja taking on the Suttis, right? People are gonna watch that. This was just you know two no names going against the Suttis, and you know what the thing was is people love competitive Halo, and even though it was on land and even though it was for money, blah blah blah, we still showed up to the event because everyone as a community kind of came together and it was good. Now we it was kind of like a lesson for me because you know i i always scram i, I always stream and i always like play throwdown and shit and it's kind of yeah. useless you know but like people like try try uh the guys from pure severance all these other teams are scrimming a lot and you know people i understand people want to be entertained but i think you know to make it look better you know like it's got a we got we got to start sending people to those oh. scrims because it's still competitive halo you know what i'm saying well and Tyler actually like turns off his stream during tournaments. At least he used to. Like yeah. when there was like a small tournament, he would turn off his stream or a video, a live show or something. Like so that that was a good thing that Ninja always did. But yeah, um, yeah, we need to because no, not really people. Only really people know of like Tyler's stream, my stream, Snipedown stream, formal stream. 
your stream. So <laughs> I almost didn't even talk about you. So yeah, go oh. fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're on it right now, you jackass. <laughs> Give me attention. I want attention. <laughs> Feed oh. me. Shower me in compliments. Um, but like, there's a lot of people that actually stream. Like you said, Trey. Yeah. Uh, Nemesis is streaming. Uh, uh, but I don't let people know about that. So absolutely, I think streams right. I think he, Abs streams. Abs, been, Abs was one of the first streamers ever. Actually, really? he was back in the days when like Dazzle was the only thing that you could do in Halo Three. But um, wow, yeah, he, <laughs> that, that's a big piece, piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, he used to get like 200 viewers <laughs> all the time, but then pros came over to Justin.tv. He yeah. streamed it was Justin.tv still. Oh Jesus but, um, Christ, that's a long time ago, my man. Yeah, dude. So um. Wow. Uh, people need to... It's different. There's new players. We're in, like, that new era to an extent. Like, mm. it's not going to be the same as, like, people that everyone knew. Yeah, and for I, sure. It's shitty, but... The winds of change are sometimes good, my man. But, you, yeah. you know, the big thing here, it's like, we, we have to do a better job, you know, for the competitive scene. I mean, you, you know, we all know where Throwdown's at. Everyone sees those numbers, but whatever. Who gives a shit? Throwdown can continue to suck, and we can continue to just keep breaking stream or stream records at AGLs. And I don't give two shits. I don't care how yeah. many people play the game. I care about how many people are entertained by the game. That's that's. Now, I'm a caster. You're a player. More people yeah. watching, more money for you. Hell, you you would almost be happier if there was only fucking eight teams because then you know you're guaranteed top eight. <laughs> and if, if, if the fucking numbers keep going up, that's well, fucking jab at me, man. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not. I wasn't saying you suck. I'm saying like. Then, I mean, you only got to win three rounds and you're in the finals, right? That's yeah. kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Well, um, and then it comes down to possibly doing tournaments that are eight teams only. People would actually enjoy watching that. I don't that know. Uh, what? I don't know about that. that. Hey. Well, the eight teams only. I, dude, I've thought about it, man. Like, the eight. I, I, think, I, think, the, I think the niche. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that's that's loot, that's winners quarterfinals you're starting at. So every game is more important. MLG's t kind of done that at playoffs, right? Uh, a couple times. It, it, it's okay. I, I think. I think. Be just because of how you know the tournament gets ran a lot slower when you do that, right? So yeah. I think what you have to you what you have to do like top sixteen. I think top sixteen is good because then you know the top eight teams. You know they should be able. They get kind of get that warm up of round out of their belt, you know what I mean? You know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, and that, that, the, the, first, the first series of the tournament is never your best, ever. Yeah, ever. It's always like, like, countless amount of times, like, you're almost losing. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, it's scary. You're like, or shit, God. Like, yes, you just suck for two days, and on Sunday you're gods. They would be screwed in a situation like that, I think. Exactly, but, see? But that's, that's another cool thing, like, I mean, you have, like, the hot teams that come out and they can upset, I don't know. That'd, that'd be a whole other topic. Yeah, that's a... Ra that. Raven right now. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll we'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it. Uh, not today, but we'll get to it soon. See, this is why I like having you on, buddy. Um, well, even when you kind of invited yourself, and I had no option, but <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, let's just do it together." Yeah, and I was like, "No, yeah, no, yeah, uh, all right, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah." I was also waking up, you jackass. Um, <laughs> but also, so let, let's get to, let's get to what we actually want to talk about here. So the bulletin got released. What last night? Today. Today. Okay. I thought it's, it. It's what happened to it right. being released on Monday? It was yesterday. I'm stupid. It was yesterday. Okay. Today what what happened up. to it being released on Mondays? Is there no rhyme or reason? I think it's just whenever she gets it together. <laughs> I don't know. I like consistency, no, man. I don't know. Middle of the week. So you have something to look forward to on Wednesday, I guess. No, this is awful news. If anything, <laughs> <laughs> this this ruins my week. <laughs> Completely out of the window. Wednesday's supposed to Wednesday's supposed to be like a decent day, like halfway done with the week. Now it's like motherfucker, dude. <laughs> yeah. Now it's just a big problem. But yeah. alright, so essentially what is happening now is that you know, Ghost was preparing V4 to be released with weapon tuning. And, you know, we all kinda heard we all heard everyone kinda heard different uh, you know, release dates. Because it's a telephone game, right? Like yeah. I heard May fifth. You know, I, I've had a couple people tell me May 12th, you know, like, just random shit. I heard mid-May. Mid-May, yeah, yeah so, see? Like, mid-May. Uh, but now just a bunch of random shit. So now, <laughs> in the bulletin, so. it's announced that it is June 3rd. Yeah, June 3rd. Now, in case, for those of you playing the home game, Family Feud Board, that comes out, I think, the Tuesday right before 
AGL Knoxville. Four the days. Biggest. The biggest Halo Four tournament. Yet. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What are we supposed to do? Like, it, it, this is like. Just. Ah! <laughs> well, the idea, like I said. Yeah. So well. Uh, before we get into your idea, okay. I want to tell. I want to. I want to take a big trip down memory lane here, right? I want to take a big, big trip before most of you were ever even born. Um, yeah. Probably you. You probably weren't even born for this. So, oh, okay. so it was the beatdown update. It was like the beatdown, the pistol update. It was the big. It was the big this. TU. You're too. ruining this. You're ruining this for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in 2005, Orlando. 2005, Orlando. The patch that made Halo 2 the most enjoyable game in the world came out. Now, it, it came out that it was the exact same situation. It was four days before the event. Everyone was happy playing with it online. Uh, what they changed was you couldn't grab weapons through the floor. You couldn't grab the ball through the floor. And they made the melees not suck. Now, it, before Orlando, one of the, how you had to get how you could make people one-shots with meleeing was you had to jump and melee. That's kind of where the Gandhi hop kind of came from, is that I would jump pink and melee and then get the headshot. And a lot of people didn't want to do that. So that's where it originated from. The Gandhi you know why hop. the beatdowns were weak, right? Fun fact. It was what? done by the damage of the, the weight of the weapon. So SMGs did less damage. BR did more damage than SMG. Rockets did the most damage. Yeah, well... <laughs> they scaled them because you could one-hit melee people with the rockets. <laughs> yeah. They, um, they got it right, but it wasn't the right thing to do. So then so then they decide, you know what? Screw it. We're going to make it so weapons, when you melee, it's going to be a two-melee kill. Right? So awesome. So this update comes out on Tuesday. And MLG, whether it was because... I can't, I can't remember the, the, the ruling as to why. I was 15 at the time. Actually, I was, when was I 16? I don't know. It was one I remember of the reading the thread. It was, it was similar was to like the reason of Providence. Um, one of the reasons was, I, I know for a fact, because back then MLG didn't have satellite trucks. They didn't have all that shit. Um, what they had was is they had to manually update every single one of those Xbox at the venue with the internet connection from the venue. So people like Cyanide and clap and, and all these people people now who you know they they have a comfy job they used they work their fucking ass off they would be sitting there updating boxes all night and kill a kc you know they're sitting there just like pressing a and updating all of them and i don't think it was possible for them to get it done the yeah. other thing was is they didn't feel like it was adequate time to practice uh for the event which is you know that's another that's a huge thing and that's the exact same problem we're walking into right now so there's your trip down memory lane. Everyone was pissed off at the event. Uh, everyone was really looking forward to getting home and, and playing the update <laughs> over the tournament. Uh, if you go back and watch the finals, you can see evidence of this as I jump in the finals. I, I, I would jump on CCF Colossus, jump, spin 360, get my face ripped off, and do it over and over and over again. In the fucking finals, right? I'm in Providence too, though, dude. What 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 ended up being the ruling with Providence? I didn't. Uh, they said since we had played a whole season with Bloom Sprint, mm -hmm. that the national championship should follow the same exact rule set that we had followed all year. Which I mean, I can understand it, but at the same exact time, Providence had like how many teams did Providence have? Seventy two. Seventy two. Seventy one. <laughs> Seventy one. It so shitty. It was bad. Like that's the issue that Knoxville will run into. I think if they try to stick with the five shot. Because I know kids that are coming back to play four shot. Can, I can you to like? Can, can you propose what you wanted to propose? Which I mean, it's not like propose like you know, like you're a fucking genius and you came up with the whole idea. But no, it's already been there. But uh, just yeah. give, give like a little background of it because you know you came to me with it. I don't want to swagger jack your idea. Well, you you said you thought about it too, so it's pretty simple. Uh, as soon as I seen that, I called Ghost. And I was like, hey, what if you release the settings fairly soon, like under a week, week, hopefully. So it's two weeks. We played two weeks with the not so good damage modified four shot just to get a feel for it, and then on Tuesday, um, when the tuning comes out, it switches to normal, like to that tuning. So we have a feel, and then we have four days with the actual setting, so that we already have like the the segue to it. I guess I'm so sick of that word, by the way. I've heard it a hundred times. Really? But segue. Everyone's saying well, we need a segue to this playlist, but um, <laughs> huh? I've never with the, with the whole loadout thing, but that's done and we're all happy i got it. dude you're way over my head my man i've never 
<laughs> Anyways, I got nothing. Else. <laughs> so we have the segue into that, and then on Tuesday when it comes out, we have four days to practice the actual four shot, eleven out of twelve kill bullet. Mm-hmm. So that that's that's what you think is. I think that's the best idea. Okay, so a um, couple concerns. Um, <clears throat> uh, the first. The the first thing is that I also know, I, I think Ghost was telling me that he he was doing a lot of research online, right, and trying to see you know, how the weapon tuning is going to work. And, and I pray to God Quinn's in this uh, to, to to really iron some of these out. Um, but you know, the, a couple of the worries is that it, Ghost was saying that after all the research he was doing. He he was he's kind of under the impression that the weapon tune is only going to be like for specific game types. Um, I, I he said that to me too, and I was kind of like, mm. I, I I was kind of like, yeah, deaf, but you know what? <laughs> I remember who we're dealing with. You yeah, know? that's true. Like that, they could definitely throw us that curveball. And but... so you know, and then the first worry in Ghost's mind was this, uh, and the first worry in Ghost's mind said, well, if what if, what if you know they don't have time for us? Right, kind of thing, and I'm like, dude, there's, there's just no way they don't have fucking time for us, right? But then I'm like, oh wait, and then again, you know, give those you know big team battles nothing against big team battle. I love you guys to death, but your competitive side versus our competitive side. Let's be honest, all right? <laughs> You're like the fucking ghost, and I'm the super Pac man, and I'm about to fucking swallow that ass, right? <laughs> uh, there's nothing. <laughs> uh, so you know, that's that was that's a worry. Uh, but, you know, and then I said, Ghost, I said, Ghost, you know, there's just, I, I can't, I won't believe that. And the reason why I won't believe that is because people are going to come back to play the four shot PR, just like you said. People, I've already talked to six people. I mean, I, I've talked to, I, I mean, I get messages all day, like, can we get the damage boost already? Yeah, there's because, people in your chat right now that are saying, should I wait to June to start playing again, or should I play now? Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so it, it's, it's a big fucking deal. But so, you know. I, I started thinking, I said, you know, what if there's just, like, just to make it clear uh, for Quinn or any of the guys who, if anyone watches this, I know Quinn does, <laughs> um, let's put it this way, and, and I'm going to hit you right where it hurts, right in the testicles of your baby, um, <laughs> right in those baby testicles. We had 7,500 people watch AGL7, right now, let's, hold on, let's just see, one second please. Playlist, no, 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 alt. Um, okay, right now, May 2nd, we have, we have 5,000 people playing your game totally. So, um. 5,000 are only on right now? 5,000 are on right now. We have 2,000 more than your total population in your game at noon on a Thursday. Now I'm not. I know it's. I know it's noon on Thursday. Blah blah blah. Well, let's wind the clocks a little bit back here. Monday of this week, you guys had 25,000 people. We're a little bit less. So that's like you know, it's a little bit more than three times the amount of people we have concurrent watching your game. Throwing in another number here. <laughs> if we get back, if we, if this scene is booming, okay, like, like the competitive scene is on a complete fucking rise. And I'm not saying that because you know, like I love Cassie, and, I'm, and you're not saying that because you love playing. That's not I how it is. Back. I left. Yeah, I left. I seen it. So yeah, it's but, it's how it works. Yeah. Um, if we get back to MLG days, which I mean, shit, I think we sold out. I not sold out. I think. AGL seven sold what, like forty passes yesterday and like Ten twenty. Minutes. And yeah, what the like that's crazy. I, I mean that's a lot better. I mean before we couldn't even get sixty four passes sold, and now it's getting better and better and better. So and if we get back to MLG better. days of two hundred and you know fifty six teams, how, how many people is that? That's like uh, well Touch with coaches, four. assuming everyone has a coach, let's just call it eleven hundred people. Way off, but <laughs> what is it? What is it? If it's two hundred fifty times five, it'd be fifteen. Right? Yeah. I said 1,100 people. Yeah, I know, and I was saying... It's 20. not way off. It's pretty off. Okay, well, 256 so times 14. 4, 256 13. times 4 is 1024. So 1,100, happy medium, all right? <laughs> Twelve eighty. breaks. My math was so bad right there. Let's yeah. not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I busted out the calculator for the second one. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's that's everyone. Those people will be in your playlist. It's not like they're not going to be in your playlist. So you let's just tack on, you know, an extra 400 into Team Throwdown. We're at 1,200. Awesome. Now we it's, things are getting a little bit better. Awesome. That's what we're looking for. So really what I'm trying to get at here is is cater to us and you're going to have more people in your playlist. You're going to have more people playing your game. And then what happens is, is which something that you guys never thought about. Uh, sorry, Mick, when I know I'm talking a lot here and I, I feel not bad good. because you're hanging out. Um, good. But the other thing that's going to happen is, is let's say, you know, we get a random Roy and Lunchbox come back. Oh, shit, they got 11 there comes points. 200 people that are fans of Roy oh, and Lunch to watch. Oh, look at that shit. That's crazy. Oh, oh, what's this? Ogre 2, you're, 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 then you're, comes you're, done, you're done with, watch. you're done with COD? Oh, okay, here, here comes 400 people to watch. Oh, T squared, you're finally done with interviewing, and you actually want to compete in a game that feels like traditional Halo. Oh, perfect. Here comes 600 people. Oh, by the way, he's sponsored by Steel Series and all these other fucking companies. More publicity. Awesome. It's just a fucking chain reaction, man. Domino Big effect. chain yeah, fucking sense, reaction. I, mean, I don't want to like take a jab anywhere because it's, I don't want to say it's common sense. It's common sense to us. For some reason, we get it, but <laughs> it's it's okay, man. I get uh, it's, it. With a shot, people will come back. I don't know who will come back. I know a few people that will come back, but they're not known. Well, they're a little just birdie told played. me that Roy 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 Box may be going to UMG Chicago. Yeah, because it's not far. With, but, but 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 they're like going in. What? I heard they're like practicing and going in. Oh, well, that's what I've heard. So there's they, your four shot. You know that they're definitely going to be okay with it. Roy's going to be able to scream four again, dude. Like he's going to be so. Dude, hell, okay with may even come back. Like, the like they're, these are household names, man. <laughs> Here, here's a great example. When you got the carbon reunion back, you almost hit a thousand viewers. Yeah, that's true. So that is very true. For AGL, if you had, like you said, you had squared, Tuger, Roy, Lunch. Let's throw in somebody else who left. Who else left? Let's throw in a hysteria. I guess I don't know. I don't think anybody liked him, but um, <laughs> let's throw in an SK. Throw, 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 throw in D Mac, man. Some D Mac, dude. If we got D Mac comes back as a sideline reporter. D Mac, dude. D Mac. Oh my God. And it's and it's me and Maven throwing the D Mac down on the side. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the best. It'd be you. No, everyone would be entertained at all times. Love if D Mac came back. I miss D Mac, dude. I think I, I think he's actually coming on my podcast either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. I haven't figured out which one it is yet, but yeah. okay. So so that's that's us for there. But so that was, that was the first worry. And in in case you guys got lost, uh, the first worry was is that um, the damage settings may not may only be applied to certain certain game types. I don't think that'll happen, though, to be completely right. honest. It's got to be a, just a flat rate. They said it's a global. If it's global, then that pretty much means across the board. And you know that Walshy would have said something about it. Well, maybe not, but... <laughs> 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 I, I, I didn't think about some of the shit I'm saying right now. Oh. No, no, you're good. You're good. I like this. This is, It's genuine, man. Um, oh. No, like, I need to think about the stupid shit that oh, I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then <it's>, <laughs> I don't care about the... <laughs> Two the jabs, shit. man! Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now the second worry. Now this is this is something that is kind of. I think I'm happy about it, but like Ghost is worried about it uh, for this. So yesterday, I I about fucking lost my mind when I hit a guy. So the scenario is this, right? I'm back. I'm back. My base simplex guy came in from purple side, and you know how the frags spawn on the bottom in the back of the base, yeah. and you have that ramp that's right here. Yep, right here. And he, he's slide. hiding right here. That's the name of it. Purple, purple slide. Okay. He's sitting on purple slide right here. Look at me. Look at me. He's sitting right here. I throw two grenades. I'm on two grenades. I'm sitting on two grenades. I throw three grenades. I have a hit marker three times. Doesn't fucking die. Right? And I'm like, all right. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'm throwing the same nade every single time. I know how to kill someone with that nade. I go up. I walk up. Railgun to the face. <laughs> the nades don't really work either. I know that you're a big hater of that. Um, but so... I know this is such a bad sales pitch, but <laughs> so with the damage settings, like the increase of damage settings, which you're proposing, the frag grenades are are nukes. Are, are monsters. Like they need They're a better nerf. than reach nades, man. They are 
huge. They're better than the Reach Nation. They, they are oh. very, very big. And <laughs> the main thing that is worrisome for a lot of people now, I know like, a lot of people. When we played Airtime in League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> so the other, the, the thing that is worrisome is that it doesn't, the blast radius mean it is just like a flat damage. So if the, if you're hitting the dick with the grenade, it's going to do the same damage as if you're seven feet away from the grenade. So you're going to just, poof, no matter what, which yeah. is cool. I'm with that. I'm with that personally. I know I'm going to say that now, and I'm going to get in game, and I'm going to be pissed off. Be fucking annoyed. But you know, I think I think that's fine. What do you think, dude? Well, the issue with that is, is if you want the damage settings, then it's going to make the BR like a three shot. So, but what? I, if you are you talking about like using the damage settings even when the tuning comes out? Or no, 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 no. Just, like, just no, you're not going to have a problem out, with the BR. Just out. Just out. Okay. It just I have no. The two weeks, it's two weeks. That's obviously not going to be the same because it's going to have a higher rate of fire. It's going to have not the 11 out of 12 bullet kill. It's going to have really strong nades. So that means bleed through is going to be insanely ridiculous. But the, the same exact thing is that you're going to get the idea of it and the positioning and the way the map will play will play the same. Yeah. So, and that, that's my thing is that four days before the event, that's bad. But playing with these settings and then playing the actual tuned for four days, you'll get used to those in four days. But getting yeah. used to how the map plays, you can, that takes a week. That takes two weeks. Easily. The actual, yeah, the actual like feel of like the tuning and the nades and shit. That's a that's like ten games. Let's say ten fifteen games at least for me. It, it like I mean everything's gonna cool. change. Yeah, everything's the, gonna the, change. The game could go. Like, it's going to be, I think, obviously, it's going to be much faster paced, but there's going to be scenarios where when you slow it down, like, it's going to be, it's going to be fucking slow. Yeah. But, like, when someone pops out, like, they're melted, which yeah. is something that you guys don't have that feeling, because no matter how good a team is, you know, people are only going to be able to zero zone in on one person well, so quick. But when the force we are. Punish sprinters, like, constant sprinters, they're going to be punished, because they'll get melted. Like and Yeah. People will get used to the way the game will feel with the tuning. Yeah. Obviously, once again, it'll be different. But we need to do. We need to have four shot for Knoxville. There's, no, there's. It, I think so too. It, I, there's no if and or but about it. I think so. I I, I agree with that. I, and I know, I know. I, I I told Ghost because you know Ghost Ghost is in that like very precarious situation where. He, he he wants to he's got to try to figure out what he wants to do and i understand that I really he sounded think. tempted he wanted he wanted people's opinion on it yeah, he wanted people's yeah. opinion on using the damage modified four shot kill br until the tuning came out yeah and that's why he that's why i called you i was like we can use you and we can use you cuz you're just that's all you're good for and then get people's opinion on shit so <laughs> Look, man, I don't go to Burger King and tell you how to flip your patties, all right? <laughs> don't, don't don't come on my stream and say I'm useless. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, now, the other thing Ghost is worried about, and it's something that's going to really change a lot of things. Apparently, with the damage settings, when you shoot someone, like, let's say, like, you shoot them with, like, one bullet of the BR, okay? And if they get sniped in the body, like, they're going to die. Or, like, let's just call it, like, if you shoot someone once with the BR, and then your teammate shot, shoots them... This is the four-shot damage modified? Four-shot damage modified. When you shoot someone once with the BR, or one bullet of the BR, I forget what it is, Ghost, Ghost wasn't 100%. It's probably shooting. one shot. It's probably one shot, and then the sniper. But, so, so that, you're looking at, you know, a quarter of your shield's gone, obviously. Four shots to kill, four quarters of your shield. A quarter of your shield's gone, you can get shot right in the solar plex and die. Yeah. Uh, with the sniper, and that's gonna ch that's gonna change a lot of things, man. Um, everyone already bitches about the sniper as is, but now, you know, you don't have to worry about getting that headshot if you're getting, you know, shot once, twice, and you're caught out in the open and you get your face ripped off. I think that's that's gonna change a lot of things. You know, it's obviously, two weeks, though. yeah, it's two weeks. It's two weeks. That is, uh, that's kind of where I'm with that too. It's two weeks. Um, and dude, and plus, I mean, everything's much different. And, and I know nades. Nades are going to be very, are going to change a lot, and I I hope honestly from the changing the damage settings, not weapon tuning, the damage settings that three four three realizes, oh shit, nades, nades are, are completely good. useless until we give them a buff. Like well, I have, thing, I have no need. About it Go ahead. From the weapon tuning, the nades might actually be useful in that weapon tuning because you're going to have more damage on the BR, so the bleed through will. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, your issue is that it doesn't kill while they're, when they're one shot. I mean. 
that's one thing, but that that's a um, big thing. It's a grenade. Well, I, it's I don't off. I don't have that problem. So it's a grenade. It must be that M2 you're playing on, man. You're actually missing the nades, but you don't realize it. If I get three hit markers, they should be dead. If I get two hit markers, they should die. <laughs> well, a hit marker you can clip them. They can be far away, and so it only does like. I don't like it then. Two get, rid, get rid of the hit marker because it's misleading. <laughs> well then, there you go. You, That's... Know, you know, it's very very misleading. But so uh, that, that was a that was a couple things Ghost was worried about. But you know, I, I when I think back, when I think about it, dude, and I sit back in my chair and I scratch my head a little bit. Look out the main the thing, picture. yeah, uh, the main thing that really that gets me is that you know we have to care about the competitive scene, and we we did the right thing with the loadouts where Gosayama came on and he was talking to Ninja and he was convinced to not use the loadouts and then even which Bravo was commit con convinced on it. That's good. I think. Thank God. I think we. I think we. I think we just simmer down, use the damage settings, and just tell people and say, "Hey, listen." You know, like this isn't this isn't going to be exactly how it's going to be, but this this is a four shot BR. Yeah, well, and you guys have to deal with it. It's going to be weird for people. Yeah, but he needs to like say like test uh, like it, it it won't be V four. Like I mean, it will. It'll be the exact same settings, but it'll be V four preparation or, or something. And the, like something that will tell people. Well, I mean, people with a brain that actually read the name of the game type. Like, oh. This isn't final, because you are going to have people that come in, and it's like, why is everything so strong? And, like, we don't want that. I mean, we do have to cater to the competitive community, though, so I do agree with that 100%. But at the same time, we don't want to piss off people. So if this is only if everyone supports it, in my opinion. Well, look, everyone, let's come Well, on. everyone well, that matters. The, the like, I don't care if, like, people that... Just don't really talk Truth about Truth comes out! Like, negative Nancys, man. That just Truth don't comes out! I don't want the kids that want... The, like, the kids that say they like Sprint, well, and if they don't like V4Shot, you're stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Are you thinking of a specific forum when you say this? Now, I'm not thinking of anybody specific, to be completely honest. I'm just talking about... All right, so, a group of people, but yeah, okay. I don't really so, know who that group of people is. I think, I think the one thing we could do... that. The one thing we could do, because look, no matter what, like I, I worry about ghosts, right? You know, um, not not because like you know he's he's a buddy or anything. Like I'm worried about ghosts because like what happens to ghosts really reflects what happens to us, right? Yeah. And more so me, because you know like I, I'm not a pro player. I have to I have to know the game types. I have to know the game. I have to talk about why this game type was implemented. All this kind of bullshit, right? So I think. I think I think we have to do a poll, and I think we leave it to the players to vote. Now I know it, it's gotta suck, man, because I know with a poll it's like I want four shot BR. Like I I do, I want four shot BR, but it's like what you know? Do we leave it to a poll for to see if people really you, you know what I well, mean? Well, this is the good thing though. We have Ninja who will wholeheartedly support this. And there goes 600 people that are completely okay with the settings, cause, just because Tyler said so. So, <laughs> um, but we'll be good there. But there's going to be players that are like, I like the five shot, though. Why don't we just keep the five shot for Knoxville? And then use the two new... Well, afterwards. Legit is already with... Legit doesn't want the update. He doesn't? No, at Knoxville he does not. He just said that on Twitter? He said it last night. <laughs> so there, there's someone on Warriors right there. <laughs> Why does it not surprise me that somebody in Warriors doesn't want the TU for Knoxville? I was going to say, like, guaranteed the people that don't want it are the people from Warriors. Goofy was the person that wanted Sprint and Reach. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you crazy people, man. Just keep it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> I ramble proud, brother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I got a text. It maybe goes. Give me a second. We need to use modified four. I, people in chat. One for damage modified four, to, for two weeks to use until the TU or the 
the TU comes out. Well, we can't. We can't do two. Come on with this. With the with the one. We'll do the one and two, and then two if no. Well, dude. Then now, okay. Well, let's fuck it. Let's go with it. Well, right off the races here, we see nothing but ones. <laughs> there is 205 people in here, and I would say 199 are putting <laughs> one. And then you know you always, you always got the funny guy. You know what I love about this dude, and it, it's like it's funny for me because it's like childish. But there's there's always like whenever I do this, I'm like, oh, one or two, right? And there's always that fucking one guy who goes out of his way to put like three. Yeah, just to be a dick. <laughs> and then and then what happens is someone sees that someone else hit three, and then they're like, fuck this, I'm throwing in a seven, and then it I'm magnifies. And, yeah, yeah, and then someone throws out the sixty nine, and then it's like. 103, and you're That's like, what we were talking about people follow people. What are you? What are you? What are you we were talking about how if pros came back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> see, see, there's 103 right there. Bam. <laughs> uh, so that that's like that's. This is 58,416. That's like a pleasure I get from this. Uh, but so, I think we got a one two. Man, it, it's such a, it's so tough, dude. It really, it really, really, really is. It's really, really tough. I think, personally, I want people to die faster, like, as soon as they can. <laughs> I want intelligence to come back into play. Yeah. It happened with No Bloom, No Sprint, Columbus. All right, hold on one second. Ghost has sent me three messages on Skype, so i got to fuck this all up. <laughs> you want to add him into the call? Nope. No. Um, but we saw it with No Bloom, No Sprint. Oh! All right, goes. I see you. All right, so, so also, this is this is something that I, we can get our. I forgot. I don't. I forgot how we forgot to talk about this. Like we're retarded. So I saw you. You tweeted Bravo asking to get flown out to test. Oh yeah, dude. Well, you know, is we we need people to go out there and test the weapon tuning, right? And now, f worry number one. Of weapon test. Fuck the four shot BR. That light rifle zoomed in is going to be shooting faster. Dude, holy Are you shit. That fucking thing's high? Be ridiculous. That thing is going to be insane. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's a machine gun. Dude, it's that's a, be That's easy. a Barrett 50 cal. That's Rambo in the... Uh, what, what is the final Rambo he did? It was Rambo. It's when he was ripping that dude apart. Yeah. yeah. Remember, he gets on the 50 cal at the end, and limbs are just getting ripped off. Yeah, dude. That's that's gonna, gonna, gonna be the light rifle. rifle. That thing's gonna be insane. So, so if, if we're bringing people out there to test, um, if, if we, it needs, to be, it needs to be critical people. It needs to be people that won't suck their dick. If we're bringing out people to test, <laughs> no offense to the people who I'm about to say, if you get a one night and nated, please no. Don't. Just don't. fucking. Just, just don't even bother listening to the community at that point. Just don't. So we need like, we need like the Tyler. We need the ninjas. We need the U's. I'm thinking. Look, I, I, I never market my own self because, well, it it's is market. You say you're allowed to market yourself now. So okay. Um, <laughs> look, I, I think if there's anyone who deserves to go out there, it's Ghost. I think. But yeah. with that. With that said, and I know you're fucking listening, you twat. With that said, if you go out there and you turn into Mr. 343 like you wanted to do with those loadouts, I'm coming for your throat. I'm coming right for your throat. And that's that. And that's all. Yeah, whoever goes has to be critical, no matter what. Whoever goes has to put people in their place. Yeah. Period. Now, I, I, there's, there's probably... One of the reasons I don't market myself is there's probably a shot in hell, right? Like a snowball's chance in hell that I could get out there. Kevin uh, Franklin's probably the one booking flights, right? Like, yeah, definitely. Um, I, you probably they're probably not even booking flights, man. You're just gonna pay to go out. There oh well, then absolutely, I can't go. <laughs> Bugsy, yo. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think Ghost, if you go out there, I think you deserve it. Yes, you be deserve to go out there, but you can't turn into Mister Three Four Three. And for the love of God, do something about spawns and nades. <laughs> <laughs> and the light rifle. And the light rifle. Like if like if you come back and the light rifle is still strong, like 
we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna throw fisticuffs. Uh, yeah, I mean you can't always blame it on them though. You don't. No, know I they can. Do. They might just listen to it. Well, yeah, no. There's yeah, always like, oh, that executive decision. Say the pastors say something. They're like, well, fuck these guys. They didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, with that said, I, I think Ghost, you have single-handedly worked your ass off more than everyone else. Um. I think you I think you deserve it, but you can't be Mr. 343 when you go out there. You have to you have to be looking at it for the good of the competitive community. This isn't establishing a relationship with 343 anymore. That's that's out the window that's done. As soon as we picked BR low starts over loadouts, that was done. Period. Yep. And I think salute and I think you know, I think you're one of the best candidates to go out there. Good fucking luck. I think you I think you send you know, I think you send ghosts. That's that. Um, now, well, how many people are they sending though? That's who the, knows, the, dude. Who knows? They may not even be bringing anyone out. They, you may get fucking neighbor and they might send Major Nelson out. They may, Buster. yeah, they may send like Major Nelson out and neighbor because he lives in Seattle or wherever the fuck he lives, and then SK. And it's like okay, SK hasn't played Halo. Let's send, let's out. send, let's send those though. That's that's really good. Neighbor will get in there and fucking freeze. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, if they do send... I don't know. We might have to look into it more. Because if we can get more than just ghosts out there to be critical, then we really need that. Ninja. Tyler 100% too. 100% Tyler. Because he'll be a dick. Yeah. He'll never be allowed in after, but... No, hey, I've never, ever. At least he's in there when it matters. <laughs> yeah, use him when it matters. Uh, so... Please bring out Ghost. If you're bringing out multiple people, actually, if you're bring out two people from our community and bring out Ninja and bring out Ghost. That's all I want. Yeah, I don't want to go out there. You don't want to? I mean, I would love to, but obviously, I think I think that Tyler and Ghost are better yeah, the, than me. The, the reason the reason I don't want to go out there is because like I'll fucking lose my mind. <laughs> well, and Tyler and Ghost have a little bit more pull than me and you, so. With the fans and everything, you know? A little bit. A little bit. We're only liked by a certain type of people because we're real. Oh, no. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, seriously. Um, yeah, I couldn't go. I don't think I could go there. You would too, too fucking... You'd be, you'd be, like, two seconds away from a stroke. <laughs> because if I'm in a developer studio, the first thing I'm going to be like is... is I'm shooting this guy, and he's not getting fucking unscoped, right? Like every <laughs> every fucking problem's gonna come out, and it's and there's not and, and I don't know if you have you ever like created something and you thought it was awesome, and then like like then say, it like ends a, up being a pile of shit. Yeah, like like, a, like a people drinking, tell you that. And it's yeah, like, like a drinking man. game. Like you started your own. Like you try to come up with like a drinking game, and you played it, and everyone's like, "Dude, this is fucking retarded." After five and minutes, then, you're like, "Fuck you, dude." Yeah, like, that's. You get you get attached to what Your you create. Your self-esteem is just shot for the night. And so like when and when, so when you send Girl, out a just fuck. <laughs> when you send out a four-eyed hillbilly to fucking Seattle to test the game, <laughs> ignorance is it's out there. <laughs> I would do it too, though, man. When uh, the first time I played Halo Four again after I left it, I was at Gamers for Giving, and I was sitting there and I shoot this dude and he snipes me. I was like, if only I could shoot him on a fucking scope. Like, screaming it at the top so, of my lungs. It's so like, frustrating. On stream and shit, man. I was just like, well, but yeah, I'm back. Um, hey, that, that's it. I think, I, I think everyone in the community, anyone who's watching this, anyone who's going to watch this on YouTube, you got to be fucking vocal. <laughs> be vocal. Voice your opinions. Don't be the jackass who's like, ah, oh, you fucking ruined that game. You know, no one likes that guy. I mean, I'm fine with the dude, personally. Be intelligently be critical. Like... I'm fine with the dude. Everyone knows Brother Rob. He's kind of that way. <laughs> yeah. I I like him though. You know, he's he's cool. Dude. I like him, but he means well, right? It just he means well, but it. Yeah. I think it nicked. This is higher than that. Fuck. Damn it. Um. Yeah, he means well. That's like his yeah. big thing. So, you know, like I'm fine with that guy, but just don't try to not be that guy. Don't yeah. be that guy. 2012. So. 2012, 2013. Oh, God. Totally <laughs> <wrong>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Well, there's no coming back from this. So I'll see you guys. If you like the video, like it. Comment on this so I can comment on this YouTube video so I can send it to these fuckers and they know. All right? Love you.